I just bought some socks for the first time in about three and a half months. And I'm excited, baby. That's why I'm I'm here making this video. It's it's far later than when I usually record, but um I wanted to make it, especially with what's been going on in the world of YouTube today. There's been quite a bit of doom and gloom. There's a lot of talks about crash, etc. etc. And there's not a lot of optimism at all. And I'm not here to fill you with optimism by any means, but what I am here to do is share with you four companies that I just bought, why I bought them. Why a lot of the prices are just too good to pass up. And why now, three and a half months later, I haven't bought anything since pretty much all the way back here. So, why now, baby? Oh, it actually feels good just to be able to make a video about stocks I bought. I mean, I haven't felt this excited about stocks, about a lot of companies' valuations since literally March 2020. I don't think we have seen deals this good in a lot of small to mid-cap companies since then. Now, I think the road ahead is still quite long. I don't think, you know, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and bang, everything is back up 50, 60%. I don't think it's that kind of market whatsoever. But I do think it's a market where we can find some good deals. So let's do exactly that. I mean, that's why we're all here at the end of the day. Okay, so what I want you to do is drop me a comment down below. Let me know what did you do today? Okay, did you sell? Did you buy? And let me know what you sold or bought. I am interested. And please hit that juicy like button. And subscribe if you're new around here, my friends. All of that means the world to me, okay? Now, I'm starting off with quite an obvious one, okay? I have Palantir on the screen. Anyone who's followed this channel for a long time knows that I love Palantir, okay? We covered them before they even went public. <laughs> before um, we even knew Palantir was going to be a publicly traded company, I made my first video on these guys. We covered them a lot of the way through. I didn't actually invest in them initially when they did go public. Quite an interesting fact. It took me a little while. I think it was probably around here I bought the first time. And then uh, I'm down, I believe, 25-30%. I'm down a couple of thousand dollars anyway in this company right now. And I am excited. So, uh, pressing the buy button on Palant here at 12 something a share felt so juicy, I, I must admit. Look at that RSI. This is the daily chart. Palantir has never been, okay, ever been this oversold. It is at extremely oversold levels. You can see it's pretty much blown every support completely and utterly out of the water. A lot of people will say, well, where's the floor? To be honest, guys, we can't be sure. That is why I'm dollar cost averaging right now. Look, I think I only bought like maybe 30 more shares, something like that. Altogether today, I think I spent... $1,500, $2,000. I'm still very cash heavy, as I have been for months and months and months now. But now I'm happy enough with these valuations that I'm happy to start buying. You can see huge volume today, okay? We're not even into power hour as of recording this. The volume's at 91 million, nearly twice our average volume over the 10 days. Palantir is at $25 billion market cap. I mean, Palantir, $25 billion market cap. Whatever way you try to value this company right now, it, it, it's going to look good value. Simply put, um, Tom Nash does a fantastic job of covering Palantir. He, he's always doing it. it. It makes sense in every way. Like, literally. So, yes, I was very, very happy to pick up some Palantir. That was the first one. It's it's one that I'm going to keep buying for a long time to come. I'm down, I don't know, 20, 25% in my position, and it's still in my top five, or maybe even my top three largest holdings as of this moment in time, without having even made any profit on it. That shows you the confidence I have in these guys. They are here to stay in my portfolio. That RSI, oh, it's, it's, it's exciting. The second company is not one that gets spoke about on YouTube near as much. It's ChargePoint, okay? It's one that I initially bought all the way back here, so, you know... Oh, geez, that's another crazy looking chart. It was all up in the 50s. Now it's all the way back in the 12s. The funny thing is, that's that's not even unheard of anymore. Palantir has done pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is a lot of people will think ChargePoint is a much, 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 much higher risk company. Now, look, I like them. Similar story to Palantir right now. We've blown out the supports. The RSI is pretty much the lower it has ever been in the stock's history. The volume is much higher than where it's been. We're currently setting on a $4 billion market cap. Charge point is one where if you're in the EV space, you know that I, they're leading. They, they literally are. I expect them to be the second biggest provider of charging points for electric vehicles right behind Tesla over the years to come. They are doing extraordinarily well in Europe as it stands. If you go and look at the recent news, maybe I'll make an update video on them if you guys want me to anytime soon. They are still doing very well, very, very well. And they have a big head start on an awful lot of the competition. As far as EV stocks go right now, 
I don't have much confidence in many that aren't Tesla, Lucid Motors, Neo. You know what I mean? Charge Point is potentially the only very small, well, I say very small cap, $4 billion market cap's not, you know, tiny, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. It's the only one around that kind of market cap where I would be in any way happy to invest. But look, guys, look at this sell-off. Again, similar to Palantir, similar to a lot of these other things. But it's gotten so low, it's actually gotten to a point where it makes sense again. I wasn't willing to buy it in the 30s. I wasn't willing to buy it in the mid-20s. I'm willing to buy it down here. And again, that's why I'm saying this almost reminds me of the prices we saw in March 2020. Do I think we're going to get that super fast turnaround and wake up tomorrow at 50% upward moves? No, but does that mean that we shouldn't buy cheap stocks? Also, no, it's, it's a good time to buy solid companies. Now, I still have my doubts about a lot of growth, a lot of really small cap companies over the next year or two. You're going to see me transfer a lot of money into larger caps. I'm going to look to improve my position in Disney and potentially one or two other dividend stocks relatively soon. You will get videos about that too. But I also think that there is a lot of blood in the water when it comes to these kinds of companies. And I am definitely going to be caught adding to them as time goes on. Corsair Gaming. Okay, again, look, RSI is very low from very brief highs of $50 all the way down now to 18s. They've outperformed to an extent. One thing about Corsair, okay, look, down 10% on the day what i mean year to date these guys had been outperforming like crazy our pe ratio was at 15.5 for course my friend look at the SP. look at the nasdaq pe's i mean it, it's simply undervalued it's a solid company it's been performing very well these prices are a true true blessing in disguise i know right now it sucks i open up my phone oh i'm down a few thousand in the long term in another three or four years I'm going to wish, and I'm very confident in saying this, I'm going to wish that I bought more Corsair at 18.50 a share. I mean, very, very much so. I've made my stance on Corsair very clear on this channel over the last few months. It's one that I didn't invest in at the very beginning. I bought a little bit, probably somewhere up around here, and I have dollar cost average the whole way down, which has helped me. And yes, I'm going to continue dollar cost average in here over the months. It's another one of those, look, a market cap at 1.7 billion for Corsair Gaming. I mean... Yeah, that, that's going to go up nice and quick. I'm very confident in that one. And then the final one, I think I only bought maybe 25 shares in Tattooed Chef. So it wasn't a huge investment by any means. Because when I look at this chart, I, I ask myself, where is it going? What direction? I've no idea, okay? I think this is very low. Very, very, very low for Tattooed Chef, okay? There was a stage not too long ago where I went and did kind of a full analysis of this company for myself. I didn't make a video or anything because I stop keeping up to date with them I, I initially invested in these guys when i was speaking about loads of companies on youtube and so i didn't even realize how good things were going for this company up until probably a few weeks ago a month or so ago i was considering selling up around the 16 17 dollar range obviously yes retrospect short term i could have sold i could have timed the market bought in cheaper now i am very 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 happy to be given the opportunity to buy them down here and again it's just one of these growth stocks where I don't think they physically can stay down here for that much longer. I, I don't think that's how valuations work. I, <laughs> they just won't be allowed to, essentially. So, yeah, Tattoo Chef was the last one. Again, I didn't invest loads of money today. $1,500, $2,000. I still have lots of cash on the sides. When it, the, the Corsair and Palantir, I will be buying more of very shortly. Uh, Tattoo Chef, I'm just going to be keeping my eyes on it a little bit closer. The likes of ChargePoint, I'm not going to be going too heavy into a company like ChargePoint in the current market. Disney is the next stock really on my list, but I am just catching myself up and I want to look at the chart and a few little bits and pieces like that. But I'm excited. You guys can probably tell I'm excited. I don't think I've been this excited about stocks in a while. The reason I'm excited, it, it may seem counterintuitive, it's because the stocks are so low. We can get good deals. Again, it hurts now. Oh, I'm down thousands, blah, blah, blah. It'll pay off in the long run. Anyway, guys, if you watched this video all the way till the end, you are a true legend. I really do appreciate you being here. Please do drop me that comment down below. Let me know if you bought or sold today. I genuinely am interested. I want to see what the community is doing. And I'll see you for another vi video <laughs> very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace.